Hello, I hope you're having an awesome day. Today, we're going to be going over my favorite way to trap and tame a Carquinos. Uh, this trap I've been using since ASE. I had to modify it a little bit for ASA, but still works. So what are you going to need to tame a Carquinos? Well, you're going to need either a catapult or a cannon. You could technically use a rocket launcher, but uh, I would recommend a <laughs> catapult. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the rocket launcher or the cannon, but uh, you can. If you're a really good shot with a cannon, you can try it out. If you use the cannon, you need the cannon and five cannonballs. If you use the catapult, you're going to need the catapult, and you're going to need the materials to make uh, between 30 and 50 shots, depending on how good of a shot you are with it. And then to actually tame the Kirkinos once you have it knocked out, you're going to need either exceptional kibble or spoiled meat. You can technically use raw meat, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, because a 150 Kirkinos would take 97 spoiled meat, whereas it would need 645 raw meat. So the raw meat tame would take twice as long, and you would get a horrible taming effectiveness. And then, of course, as exceptional kibble, it would need 25. Now, if you're using spoiled meat, you'll either need 200 narcotics or 1,000 narco berries to keep it asleep. And, of course, all this information varies on your server settings. All right, now let's see you've been out and about. You found the Carquinos you want to tame. Now you just need to build the uh, structures, right? So we're going to drop down our four foundations. And drop down one, two, three, and four. All right, then we'll put our double door frames on it. Every other block. Like that. And then you can place one on the side, like that, to block the Kirkinos from getting out. Okay, then we're going to drop our dino gates. Alright, so bring our dino gates about here, like this. One. And then we'll come out at an angle. Like this. Alright, so you come out about this angle here. Come out like that. And then come back to this side and do the same thing. Start near the edge of this foundation. Drop that. Angle this. You need to make sure you leave enough of a gap between where these uh, gates are going to be. So make sure you look. And get an idea. Make sure Carquinos can walk between them. This angle just right. So you place it at about this angle here. As you can see, that should be enough room for Carquinos to walk between. Uh, you might leave them at a little bit of a wider angle. Yeah, just check your angle. Make sure you, if you can fit a full dino gate in between them. Um, so this angle might be just a little too tight. It might work, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of this. Pick it up, I guess. If you don't have the option to pick it up, you can destroy it. All right, and we'll place this at a little bit less of an angle. All right, there we go. Like that. All right, that's perfect right there. The Carquinos will fit through that. As you can see, this gate here, it will work. <laughs> As this gate fits between them both nicely. All right, so then, uh, oh, I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video, you'll need a bear trap. All right, so you place a bear trap here. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to bait your Carquinos through that, get it into the bear trap, and then you're going to run around and place this gate behind it and close it in, just like that. And that's how this trap's going to work. And I have one built on the other side of the lake, so we'll show you. Um, but once you have the Carquinos trap, then do this next part. All right, you don't want to do this before because the Carquinos, sometimes they don't follow you. They, they are very finicky. Um, all right, well, once you have it in the trap, you need to come out five foundation spaces away from this. All right, so you can use foundations if you want to measure that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and this is where you would place your pillars. Of course, this is going to be in the way of letting us place our pillars correctly, so we'll get rid of the fifth foundation. All right, and we want to place it about center of these those foundations up ahead, about the fifth one back, right about where the middle of it would be, and go up four. So one, so we started with one, so two, three, now four, four. All right, so you go up four. Of course, we're running into our other trap we're going to be using, uh, and then you would put your ceiling up there. All right, you snap. Something like this, back behind the pillar, and you would build it four like that, and then drop your wooden, um, and then drop your wooden ladders on it, so you can climb up it, climb up, and place your ballista. Then once you climb up it, you can just place your ballista down. It may take a little work. You may have to drop an extra ceiling down. Oh, there you go. Or you can just drop your catapult down up here once you get it going. And then once you get on the catapult, you can pretty much spin it 360 degrees, so it doesn't really matter which way it's facing when you place it. And of course, you need to craft ammo for it, which requires three metal ingots and 30 stone for each uh, ball. So just, you know, oftentimes players will just bring the metal with them and then uh, harvest the stone while they're out. All right, so this is the setup we're going to be using. Uh, I'll show you the cannon 
and we'll show you the catapult as well. And we'll show you how this all works, and we'll bring in uh, this part. Here's the tricky part, getting the Kirkinos into the trap. They don't like to follow you too much. Uh, having a shoulder pet sometimes helps. You know, you'll definitely want to be wearing flak, and you don't want to be doing this solo unless you have no choice. Uh, the uh, Kirkinos can, if the Kirkinos grabs you, you can be in a lot of trouble. Okay, so as we showed before, we'll set up our bear trap in here. And then we'll go get the Kirkinos. All right, now you can shoot at the Kirkinos to try and bait it in if you want. Um, they uh, sometimes won't aggro to you or they'll aggro to other stuff, so you may want to kill the creatures in the area to keep it from one uh, fighting them or wandering off. But you can see it quickly loses aggro. Uh, I like to just stay right ahead of it, but that can be dangerous. It can grab you. And they don't. Okay, come on, Kirkinos. I'm over here. Yeah, come get me. There we go. Turn. Turn. Come on. I get <laughs> finicky. I've got uh, Testis on three Garkinos already, and this one just doesn't want to work with me. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't grab me. Okay. He doesn't want to go in the trap. Sometimes you have to pull him away and then turn around. They get a little sideways. Uh, they may not want to walk through. You can change, fix that by widening it a little bit more. This one probably should be a little bit wider. But yeah, I haven't had any issues with them coming into the trap yet. Come on. Oh, don't grab me. Don't grab me. I'm in here. All right, like I said, they don't always want to work with you. Okay. Oh, and then if they grab you, you're in trouble. Uh, <laughs> and they don't let go of you, so you just have to let it kill you. Um, so you want to make sure you have a sleeping bag and bed nearby in case you do get killed. Okay, even though I've gotten three crabs following me in this trap before I started recording, um, obviously these aren't from the follow, and I have the gates torn down, and they're still not coming in. So I think I know what's going on. Um, they have a nav mesh that's cooked into the map, and it changes over time after structures are placed down. Um, and so the structures haven't been gone long enough for the nav mesh to fix. I guess they were down long enough for it to show that, hey, there's no walking path here anymore. So the dinosaurs would go around the structures instead of trying to walk through them. Um, that's really hurting traps right now. <laughs> so we're going to have to do this another way. Uh, so basically, the first time you sit down the trap, if you get the crab to follow you quick enough, it will work. Uh, if your trap has stayed stationary for too long, it will no longer work. Uh, so we'll show you another way of doing this that will definitely uh, work. Uh, so once you found one you wanted, and we'll do it this way. You drop your bear trap. Uh, in an area where you can build your normal trap. All right, and this will uh, so let your bear trap set up. We'll go ahead and drop some dino gates around the bear trap. We'll go ahead and get this kind of started. Um, you don't want to leave the gates set up because, like we said, they block the nav mesh, and then it can't go. But if you don't set these up, um, if you wait till the crab is in the trap to start setting these up, it will get away. So <laughs> it gets out of the trap really fast. So you have to quickly be able to set these up. So we'll set up the first three like that, all right? Then we'll trap it with the other three when it gets uh when it gets up here. So now we have a Carquinos. So we'll drag it back, keep it angry, get come right up in here. Oh no, I went through the gates. I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm sorry, crab. I didn't mean to. I should have. Come on. Come on, you can get me. You can get me. I have to. I put the trap too close. Okay, we got him. All right, so we have to let him hit you a few times. Unfortunately, he might uh, gonna get this trap down fast. He might grab you and you might die. So make sure you have beds nearby. Okay, we got him trapped. All right, and now the Dino Gates seem to be a bit bigger than they were in ASC, which is usually this was my this was my trap. Six gates. Crab can't get out, shoot down at him. Um, these block your shots now. So whichever side you're going to put your trap on, right, uh, you'll come and drop your foundations on that side. All right, so he'll probably try and hit you while you're doing it. Just maybe even grab you, so careful about that. All right, so now we can build our trap, though, and we can funnel him into it, right? Uh, so we'll just drop our foundations down a little bit away from these gates so he's not grabbing us. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll put our door, double doors on it. One, every other block, right? Two, and then one on the edge there. Just to make sure you can't get out. All right, so this will take a few more dino gates than we originally said in the beginning of the video because uh, of the issues with the, uh, because of the nav mess changing as we get these structures down too long. 
All right, so we're just kind of trying to line it up with our trap that we already have in place a little bit. All right, like that. So we can keep him trapped in there. All right, there we go. And now we can let him into this front room here. Pick these up or just demolish them. Whatever your server lets you do. Okay, now it can come forward. And this is where you can get a second player or a dino right out in front of it to keep it facing this way. We can go make it smaller. It's not as it's not that important, but we don't want him to be able to go too far back. One, two, let's see what we got. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So you can use foundations to measure. You can just eyeball it if you you just gotta get far enough back that we can shoot him with the uh catapult here. I remember you go up four. Hang your ceiling off the back like that. Come backwards with it. Drop our ladders so we can go up. Climb up it, put our catapult down. Alright, once your shots are crafted and you're ready to go, you just hop in the catapult, and to aim this, it hits right above that very front point in it. Alright? And you see how the crab's moving like that? This is the problem with doing it solo. The crab's going to run around. You need to hit the crab directly in the top of its shell. If you hit it anywhere else other than the top of its shell on its back, right? if you hit it in the head, you hit it in the legs, you hit it in the arm, it doesn't take very much torpor damage. It takes a whole lot of health damage. If you hit it in the top of its shell, it takes both health and a lot of torpor damage. So right there, where it's standing, I can hit it nicely. Um, but it's going to move around a lot because we're by ourselves. If we had another player with us, we could have a player or another dino down there keeping its aggro. And so it would stay in one place. All right, so you'll just have to wait for your moment for shots. Its torpor doesn't drop too slow, so don't be too rushed. Then you want to fire and kind of see where it hits. Unfortunately, it's really hard to tell where you're hitting uh, with this right now. You can't see the shots, and there's no, you know, that doesn't hardly blood splatter on the dino where it actually hits them at. Uh, so you just kind of got to know where to aim this, how to aim this. To see how I'm, where I'm at, I'm going to hit it. I need to aim just a little bit to the right. There we go. I should hit it right on the back. We got it. That's two shots. Be patient with your shots. Don't rush your shots, because if it turns in the middle of you shooting it, uh, you'll hit it in the leg and do massive damage to it. It used to be able to get them to aggro pillars, so you put a pillar right out in front of this. Uh, we can't hardly get them to aggro pillars anymore. So, uh, you can bring a dino with you. Uh, I would recommend a turtle or something, so if it actually grabs it, it won't die. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see, we can't even get its attention now. Uh, but I do recommend you bring a uh, magnifying glass with you. I probably didn't say it at the beginning, but uh, yeah, bring a magnifying glass. You can walk up and you can see its health and torpidity. So if it starts getting hurt too much, uh, you can back off and let it heal. And we'll show you how to quickly heal it as well. Uh, it may freak out because it's in a trap. It may just want to run away. Uh, that angle, it's probably pretty good uh, for us. Actually, so that works. Um, so yeah, that can happen to you. It's easier to, with another player, though, because another player can keep it aggroed onto them. All right, but if it wants to stay like that, that's fine. We can tame it like this. And it'll start moving around. Just be careful with your shots. If you do hit in the leg, don't worry about it. We'll show you how to heal it. Taming a crab is time-consuming. We could use the cannon and knock it out in one, in one or two shots. Uh, it could take up to five, depending on how you hit it. But Oh, and see, it turned as I fired, so it took... It got hit in the... Most likely got hit in the leg or the arm for that shot. Uh, most likely took more health damage than torpor damage. All right, there we go. We got it knocked out. And it's ready to be tamed. So now we would just put the uh, food in its inventory and tame it. Alright, uh -huh. Almost died, though, as you can see. <laughs> Let's see. Can we pull it? Yeah. You see, it almost died there. Um, so, we definitely, if I'd been checking it, I'd probably have been a little more uh, careful and probably would have healed it before I kept going. But yeah, we got it. It's good. Alright, now let's show you how to heal one. All right, so here's another issue. If you fire the catapult too fast, not all the hits will register. It's really weird. 
Yeah, like those, those two shots should have hit. I mean, can't boss them as a crab where it's standing. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll burn through your resources fast. Okay, so now this crab is hurt. So how do we heal him? Well, if you have a buddy, uh, this makes it easier if you have several players in here. All right, so let's see how hurt it is. All right, so yeah, we're down 4,000 health. All right, let's get it healed up. Okay, find some animals that you can kill and uh, drag their body back. All right, and so we'll drag this bulldog back and we'll feed it to the Garkinos. Um, it works great if you have a buddy or you can even, uh, if you have a, bed, a couple of beds and sleep bags nearby, you can even kill yourself and use your dead body for this. Uh, that's what we usually do. And so if I was on an official server doing this or whatever, I'd come, I'd take the dead body and I'd go in there with the Garkinos with it, but I would also take off all my gear because uh, it's probably going to, it could end up grabbing me, right? So I just take off all my gear so it can kill me too. And I'll feed it myself and the dead body. So I'll hold the dead body. Oh, there we go. And we'll get its ag tension here. There we go. It's starting to hit. So go go wherever it's hitting if it's not hitting you directly, right? And let it hit and eat the dead body. Alright, and that'll heal it. And then of course, yeah, it grabbed me. Alright, uh... <laughs> yeah, so as you can see... Uh, a dead body heals at about a thousand hit points, right? Uh, maybe not quite a thousand, but you, you get the idea. And so you just keep doing this uh, until it's uh, it healed up enough that you can continue hitting it with the catapult again. Now, what about the cannon? According to the taming app, it takes five hits with the cannon. Um, if you hit it just right, it seems to only take one hit, but that might just be settings. Okay, so it may depend on your server settings on how many shots it's going to take. You got to get this lined up just right because the cannon does massive damage to the crab if you don't hit it uh, directly in the shell. So you're going to be using cannon. You definitely need a buddy or a dinosaur to keep his attention to hold it in one spot so that you can aim properly and hit the uh, and hit the crab. So let's show you what that looks like. Let's see if we can get him into one. There we go. And oh, that totally missed. <laughs> All right, so way to the left. So if we go in and look, you can see we did no torpor and we did quite a bit of damage. Oh, I did not mean to fire, but uh, hey, it worked. We hit him right in the butt and he fell asleep. <laughs> I was just trying to aim the cannon. All right, well, I guess that works. Uh, so as you can see, you can knock him out with a cannon, but uh, I don't know. The cannon, it's kind of riskier. Although it's less glitchy than the catapult right now, so it might be the way to go for you. It really depends on you, but as you can see, two shots from the cannon, I mean, it's hurt pretty bad. Uh, if your torpidity settings are a bit different, you may need more shots, and you may be putting it even riskier to tame it. You can also use rocket launchers, right, and hit it. You have to hit it in the top of its shell on the back with the rocket launchers, so... Alright, once you have the Carquinos knocked out, it's just a matter of babysitting it, keeping it alive, making sure nothing hits it and uh, getting food in its inventory and of course keeping it asleep if you enjoyed this video smash that like button have an awesome day